Hello, Akron fans, and welcome to another cast. This time we're going to be on Tomb of Heroes between Cybernetic Pony and Stakhanov. And we haven't really seen either player very much. I mean, Cybernetic Pony we've never seen, and Stakhanov we've only seen once. In a long time. I shouldn't say, okay, we have seen more than once. But we haven't seen in a long time. Stakhanov has not played at all in his version. I don't know why I said once, but we haven't seen him in a while. That's what I meant to say. He is playing Vekir, and... Cybernetic Pony is playing CISO in Assassin Mode. Cybernetic Pony setting up his Akron forward with a couple of his infantry over straight into Sakana's expansion. Try to get that very quickly scouted. I'm not sure if he expects Sakana to expand immediately. Sakana, on the other hand, is not expanding immediately. Instead, he is sending out, not sending out his Akron to scout, sending out his Teth Veer to scout. And where is his. So Zion Veer is building up here and Chin Veer is hanging out, but not sending his Akron to scout, which is very bizarre to see. Of course, as we've seen a lot in Assassin Mode, the Akron is pretty much only useful as a scout in the early game. Cybernetic Pony, of course, as we saw, was doing exactly that, was sending his Akron out to scout. Now, he might be going for a proxy with this. That is likely, I think, that what would happen is just going for a proxy with Special Ops just there as a bit of support in case Stakhanov happens to find it, while very quickly going... Oh, very quickly trying to get rid of this comm hub here. I guess he's concerned about being able to get to the North Base unchecked, but... That's not something that's going to happen for a while. He's not... I mean, he might try to do that, certainly. But this is very unusual. I've never seen a player actually try to kill this comm hub. I mean... Cybernetic Pony will certainly be successful in doing that. So, he's kind of not really doing much with anything right now. He is... He does see Cybernetic Pony's Akron getting into his base, but obviously it's not going to do too much. Cybernetic Pony's just going to be pulling it out as soon as he gets the chance. Just... He doesn't really need to worry about it, can echo it out. Getting rid of the Teth Veer with his Marine and Special Loss, but giving away the fact that he is pushing a Marine and Special Loss forward, I'm not sure Sakhanov is going to be suspicious of anything because of that. Since it's not entirely unusual to be scouting out with a Marine and Special Loss like that. On the other hand, it's still, with the Akron, something that's going to be a little bit awkward. Why would you do that? Why would you put them, put them forward unless you actually had a good reason to do so? And here he goes, Cybernetic Pony is moving his Akron back, having gotten the information he needed, seeing this economy is going heavily for economy, while Cybernetic Pony, on the other hand, is not really going for economy, getting a couple importers, and getting some infantry in his main base to continue building up, I suppose, since he does have all of his infantry used up, two of them are going over to the southeast side of the map here, right below Sakhanov's base, and one of them is continuing to try to get rid of this comm hub over here, which I'm not sure why he's doing that, at least not at this stage in the game. But he is, and he's continuing to build up his economy at the same time, going heavily, very quickly for Q-Plasma, which is a little unusual. He does have enough... I mean, he's playing CISO, so he can get a factory and a couple ATHCs without worrying about getting a QPRP. Thus, I'm not sure why he's doing that exactly. So kind of on the other hand, at the 4-minute mark, getting a depot, and will be getting Zion Pulses very soon, I imagine. He does have the money for it. Not sure he's going to transfer the Zion Veer in there to build one, or just build one straight out of the depot. No, he is transferring in and getting that Zion Pulsar. And getting Skip Teleport. Getting another Zion Veer at the same time as well to make sure that gets two Zion Pulsars. So very quickly, 430 mark, two Zion Pulsars with Skip Teleport. I'm assuming the second one's getting Skip Teleport. There we go. While Cybernetic Pony is certainly going to be probably decently prepared for this, if he gets a few ATHCs, he should be okay. But he does have... I mean... The thing is, for CISO, their infantry is actually really good at fighting off Zion Pulsars. If you have a few Marines and a few Special Ops in your base, Zion Pulsars get in, they get torn to shreds. If they're not careful. Obviously, if they are careful, they get out of the way, and they avoid getting killed. But the infantry are surprisingly good at stopping them. At least surprising when you've played Akron a fair amount and are convinced that infantry are useless. No, infantry are actually fairly useful in defense against Zion Pulsars. And I learned this the hard way with the Zion Pulsars. Anyway, the 540 mark... Two minutes up from where Cybernetic Pony is, kind of is sending his Zion Pulsars into attack. Or at least sending his Zion Pulsars into position to attack. I don't know if he's going to attack immediately. I kind of doubt it. I would not recommend it. But he is, in fact, attacking immediately. He is going right for the Cybernetic Pony. will see this coming. Unless Takano decides to go back. But it doesn't matter. The red time of carrying it forward. So, Sakhanov is showing his hand very early. And he does have plenty of time. He has five minutes to change what he's up to. So, Cybernetic Pony may not necessarily be fighting this ultimately... But he certainly knows what will be coming, or at least what very well might be coming. 
Now this Marine not doing too much, I'm a bit surprised, we're at 720's point of view at the 448 mark, he, what, he just jumped forward a minute, jumped back a minute again, and not doing anything with that base, he is focused on the ATFCs in his main base, pushing them forward and possibly dealing some damage when he gets the chance. The depot at this point, the 4 minute mark, not yet being built, kind of, however, further in the future, the 521 mark, and moving his Zion Pulsars around to the north instead of going to the south, he might be, maybe he's just going for a different angle, he might be suspecting that Cybernetic Pony is, in fact, expanding. He may be suspecting this exact expansion, and will be correct to do so. But Cybernetic Pony is still getting himself prepared decently well to counter this, or at least to deal with something. I'm still waiting on that expansion. I'm really a bit surprised there hasn't been a proxy here at all. But he is moving in a couple of ATHCs into Sakano's base at the 533 mark, which is about the same time that Sakano had originally attacked. But Sakano moving back further at the 423 mark and attacking... No, getting attacked from here by the infantry. Special Ops coming in here and attacking the Zion Pulsar while it is upgrading Skip Teleport. Very nice timing there by Cybernetic Pony. A little bit unfortunate, though, the second Zion Pulsar coming out here will be able to finish it off. So Cybernetic Pony's attack will be cut short. But, actually, no, apparently further than the... No, apparently not. Apparently further than the future, it actually... Yes, because the... There we go, that's right. Because, of course, the skip, the skip teleport order still went through. If so kind of undoes that skip teleport order, he should be fine. And getting a foundation to try to heal up the Zion Pulsar when he gets the chance. Moving it away, he put himself in a good position and is, will be able to get rid of the special ops. But not being able to get his Zion Pulsar as quickly as before. So not a terrible move by Cybernetic Pony. Still pushing it out of the way, but removing all chance of having any sort of proxy bases. And only really delaying it by about... 20 seconds since he's not building anything in his main base to try to deal with this no infantry or anything or further or lancers really would be another really good move since lancers would be completely untouchable by the zion pulsers but no not building that either so he has not got a lot of defenses being built up jumping back at the 423 mark where he's a bit more committed he's still moving the infantry in but also moving these ATHCs in further at the 655 mark so two minutes up from where we were jumping back another minute and a half we see that the ATHC is coming in here. That's three Zion pulses are for Sakana. Sakana about 30 seconds down from there is looks like this is when he's setting up this Zion Pulsar right now and getting his infantry to defend against these ATHCs coming in. And the ATHC coming in, taking a decent amount of damage. Should be able to get rid of the Tuth Veer, but that's nothing. No, not even that much. The Zion Pulsar is tearing it to shreds. And Cybernetic Pony is getting machinery. He should his tanks, tornadoes. He might be building a tornado from here. No, building Lancer from here. I, in that case, I don't know why he built machinery at this point. Might have been a little bit premature, especially since he doesn't have a lot of economy being built up, only having... Oh, never mind, he has three, eight, three RPs on top of the ones in his base. So he does actually have a decent economy. Not sure he's going to be building tanks from that or what. Against Zion Pulsers, the Lancers would work very well. Zion Pulsers, of course, being completely incapable of attacking air. And Lancers, of course, being air units. This mech here looks like it's going to be... Going for proxy macrofab on its own. Possibly to the north of the base. From there, I suppose... Blackbirds would work. No, never mind. He's going for a turret. What am I saying? Going for a turret, not bothering with the machinery. So, sorry, not bothering with the machinery for units from the looks of it. Only using machinery for defensive structures. I'm a little bit surprised where Sakhanov is going with this. He's... It looks like he's very suspicious about where Cybernetic Pony is set up. He might be suspecting a proxy to the south, but... No proxy will be found since there is none. Cybernetic Pony having lost his infantry before even going for a proxy if he was planning on doing that in the first place. But so kind of building up many Zion Pulsers. These Lancers really are going to be a hard counter to this. And Cybernetic Pony continue to build Lancers. So right now, I would give it a Cybernetic Pony. He's definitely got himself in a better position from the unit counters perspective. The only problem is if Stakhanov goes for an, a straight up attack with six Zion Pulsers, Cybernetic Pony is going to lose his entire base before the Lancers even do their job, especially since they're out of position when it comes to defense right now. And there they go, the Lancers are just patrolling around. Not sure why he expects it from there, really. Sakhanov can just teleport right in. What did I just say? Oh. Sakhanov disliking the metagame, I guess, the amount of units he can build. Granted, he's building a lot of units. I mean, 650 mark and he does have 6 Zion Pulsers. That's not... that's a lot of firepower. Yeah, it's not a lot of actual physical distinct units. But it's a lot of firepower. I'm also surprised he doesn't have a skip... Does he have skip teleport on any of them? He has it on some of them, but not on all of them. Or, no, it appears to have undone the acquisition of skip teleport on all of them. So no, he has no skip teleport either. This is very surprising. 
why is he not getting skip teleport? This actually puts him in a really bad position. Cybernetic Pony is expecting him to walk in or drive in. Teleporting in would completely throw Cybernetic Pony off, but at this point, that's not happening. So, just waiting on Stakhanov right now to go for an attack and try to do what he can, which he's doing very slowly. He is doing it, however, the 717 mark, he is slowly crawling in. Just, that's the thing, it's very slowly. And now getting an air control center, getting a Teth B, or Teth Pulse, or Teth Turcher, I should say. I don't know why I had a hard time remembering which one that was. Teth Turcher, right here. Getting that up, and that will help the Lancers, but the Lancers are not in position, even to defend. What is Cybernetic Pony doing with this? Is he getting, he's getting ground units, which is interesting. If he's going for Twin Mars, I suppose that would make sense. For anything else, I'm not sure why he'd be doing that. But he is getting a Macrofab, so Twin Mars are very likely. But then from there, Machinery... Eh, sort of useful on turrets, I suppose. I'm just questioning a lot of Cybernetic Pony's decisions right now. What I'm not questioning is having this little hidden economy. I mean, he's definitely taken advantage of having killed the Calm Hub at the start of the game. Certainly signal that he was doing this, but he took advantage of it and is building up making sure that Sakhanov has no idea what is building up up there. I'm a bit surprised Sakhanov hasn't become immediately suspicious of this and gone up to try to kill it. I guess he didn't really look at it, didn't see that there's no comm hub on the left side of the map. Possibly players just ignore those, I'm not sure. And there we go, the Cybernetic Pony's Akron off in the corner. Sakhanov's Akron is right in his middle of his base, and in practice it seems like middle of the base is a safer place to put it. But it doesn't really matter. Cybernetic Pony is getting attacked by those 6-9 pulses I mentioned earlier. Dealing quite a bit of damage. Getting rid of that one importer that he had. But the Lancers are coming in for defense. However, they aren't coming in fast enough. He's already lost. Cybernetic Pony's already lost an RP. He's lost an importer. His armory is going down very quickly. And the Lancer is coming in. Dealing with damage it can. But even then, it's not going to be enough in time. Losing the armory. The factory is going down shortly. And ATC is trying to do what they can, but they are still on the ground, so Zion Pulses get rid of them in no time. Only one Zion Pulse are being lost, while half the base is destroyed. This is not good at all, and since Zion Beer has come out, they're going to whittle down the Lancers in the meantime. This is the one thing I mentioned about Lancers, like I said, they aren't great at base defense against Zion Pulses. They don't draw fire away from anything else. And Sakana's point of view, jumping back as well, and just decided, well, that's the game, really. Cybernetic Pony conceding defeat, and certainly an interesting demonstration of why it's always good to double check what your opponent is up to. Also, like I said, not sure why he built the defense towers there. The shortest path is through here. Like, typically, a unit on auto move will go down south and come up again. Mind you, that's a bit of a map esoterica. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that, and I will be casting a bit more tomorrow. I just want to do a short little cast tonight. And have a good night, everybody.